So you're all done with your animation. This is how you should probably render. So I have this simple animation, just two keyframes of this box sliding over. I have a light set up. You need to go up to the top here next to Hypershade. This is our render settings. When I click that, I have turned down the Arnold Renderer Camera AA really, really low, which gives me this really grainy look uh, just for uh, speed of this tutorial. So I'm gonna go to the Common tab. I'm using Arnold Renderer. The first thing I wanna change is the file name prefix. So what we're gonna do is just call this whatever I would like. This is what each image in this image sequence is gonna be called. Pick your image format. I am gonna keep it at JPEG. You could use PNG, use whatever you'd like. Quality 100, that's fine. This one's important, frame slash animation extension. If you just click single frame, this isn't gonna work. So I'm gonna hit the drop down. I prefer this one, name number dot extension. Some of these don't even work, like name dot extension dot number. Your computer won't recognize this. So this would be like box dot jpg dot one. Your computer won't open it. So I like this one, name number dot extension. Everything's good here. Moving on down, we have our start frame. You need to pick your end frame. Mine is 10, so that's already set up there. That's great. Next up, renderable camera. I'm currently in my perspective camera, so that is good to go. If you had a different camera, you could select it here. We're gonna pick our image resolution. You can pick whatever you want. I'm gonna make mine very small just for this example, so it renders far more quickly. After that's all done, I can close this. I am gonna change this dropdown from modeling to rendering. This allows me to go up to render, down and hit the option box for render sequence. So when I click that, two things I need to do. I need to make sure this is the correct camera. Sometimes it does not update. Make sure that's your right camera and then go ahead and hit this folder icon. This is saying, hey, where would you like to save this? We didn't set a project for this, so I'm just gonna go to desktop, create a new folder on my desktop. We'll call this box animation. Good, select the folder, we're good to go. So next up, I can press render sequence and close. This is gonna go through my animation. It's gonna spit me out 10 frames. And if I go to that location on my desktop, I can see that all of those renders went in there. The next step would be taking this into Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, dragging and dropping into DaVinci Resolve. It's gonna force this into either a PNG sequence, but it's gonna put all these together. Out comes a movie.